Hi, it's Tim from Launch Best Lead Digital Marketing. And in today's video, I'm gonna show you how to use Auction Insights in Google Ads. Now, you may be asking the question, why is Auction Insights so important for your Google Ads and the campaign that you're running? Google Ads Auction Insights is a report that helps you compare your ad performance with your competitors within the same auction, which then aids you in making decisions in terms of your bidding and your budgeting within the account. And right now, as of this video, it's available for search, shopping, and performance maps. Before I take a this video to show you how to break down and interpret all the data, if you're looking for help with your Google Ads efforts in order to be able to get better results, particularly against your competitors, or if you're looking for a better ROI on your account and get it positioned to scale, reach out to me in the link in the description or in the first pinned comment below. I'll be happy to hear from you and I'll reach out to you as soon as possible. And with that said, let me take care of my screen right now. So here we are. Over at my screen right now, we're taking a look at one of my client's accounts that we're currently managing. They've been a long-term client for us and apologies if I have to block out a bit of the data. Need to do that obviously for privacy reasons, but there's a lot we can still take from this particular account because it has a load of data compared to my previous videos where I've demonstrated with my test Shopify Google Ads account. So to give you some backstory in this account, this is a Shopify store that is running in the US and they're running multiple different campaigns that are like search, performance max, and some fallback shopping campaigns that we're currently testing. So we'll be able to look through all that to be able to see what the data looks like. To get to the Google Ads auction area, come to the left-hand side, click the drop down here on Insights and Reports, and then click Auction Insights. And as we can see here, over the last 30 days, we've picked all campaigns. And because of that, you're not going to get very specific on your data across the account. You have to at least pick a campaign. Or if you've only got one campaign, this may show, but because we've got multiples, it's best to pick a single campaign in order to see the data. With that said, if you've only got a single campaign running, you do have this warning pop up here at the moment saying that you don't have any option insights because the search impression share is less than 10% in the selected date range of your filters. That means there's just not enough data there for Google to be able to extract from in order to be able to show where you're coming up against your competitors. Ways around this is actually to come to your date range and then extending that and go up to 90 days. If necessary, go back further as far as you need to be able to pull up enough data. As you can see here now with pulling up data for more than 180 days, and even though we have a selected a campaign, we're getting more data. Now, this is account wide. So I wouldn't recommend going down this path unless you've got that one campaign that I was just mentioning. You want to drill down further through either the campaigns or even down to the ad group level, which I'll show you in just a moment. Instead of a demonstration purpose, we're going to take a look at the data at one of the performance max campaigns that we've been running from for quite a while. And we can see here, there's a fair bit of data for us to work with. And all that we're showing for search impression share for less than 10% within the performance max campaign, we have enough here we can work with. Firstly, let me run through a couple of features we've got here. So we can see with the performance maps campaigns, we can actually switch between search and shopping. We can draw upon the data within the shopping. So let's come back to search real quick. And I'll explain each column. So first, search impression share is the number of impressions that you've received divided by the estimated number of impressions that you would have been eligible to receive. Now there's multiple different reasons what eligibility is based on. But as we can see here, we've shown up less than 10% of the times of auctions we could have shown up. So Generally speaking, this is quite low when it comes to broad match terms. And this will be based on a couple of components within a performance match campaign. It will be the type of bidding we're doing, as well as the targeting is on search themes, not keywords. We don't have those specific controls within a performance match campaign. Here's the reason why it's low. And then we have the overlap rate. This shows how often another advertiser's ad received impressions of the same options as yours did. So when ours showed up, we can see that some of our top competitors showed up somewhere between five to almost 10% of the time of the same options that we did. Position above rate is how often another advertiser in the same auction shows up in a higher position than yours when both your ads are shown at the same time. So for example, if they're outbidding you, you're in position two or three, depending on how many spaces are available within the search auction, they will show up higher than yours. You could be third position, you might be second, they may be first. But that percentage, as you can see here, that almost 75 to 80% of the time, their search ads are showing up higher than ours. So these kind of insights here could be indicating to us that where there's some work that needs to be done within our search ads in our performance max campaigns. Top of page rate means how often our ads are showing up at the very top with our competitors. So at times they may show up in the same auction, but they could be at the bottom of the page for their search ads. Absolute top of page rate is the percentage of impressions that you are shown in the very first ad among top ads. So you use this metric to see whether changes in performances are due to changes in your ads locations. Now, absolute top of page rate means the new position one within any given auction. And lastly, our ranking share is how often your ad ranked higher in the same auction as your competitors, essentially. 
or it could be if your ad showed when theirs did not. And we can see ours are struggling because we're only showing up about 5% of the time. Now that all this could be the case, this is a Performance Weeks campaign. And because of the lower margins for their products from this particular client, we're pushing more shopping. So if we're going to take a look at the shopping, we can see here they've already got three columns available. Impression share, overlap rate, and outranking share. Everything pretty much works the same in terms of impression share, overlap rate. But in terms of outranking share, this will determine where your ad is positioned, whether it's on the far left-hand side or further on the right, on a desktop, for example, and if your shopping ad was showing up ahead of theirs or not. And as we can see, shopping ads can be quite competitive and we have over 31 competitors in this space. Okay, so once you've got all that data and your auction insights, what to do with it in order to be able to improve your ads. So firstly, you use the report to see where you're succeeding or where you might be missing opportunities and where you can improve your performance. Naturally, you can analyze your competitors and see where they're performing. And you can understand which advertisers are competing with you and how they're positioning themselves. Three, you can make strategic adjustments. Based on these insights gained, you can make some tweaks to your campaigns and ads, such as adjusting bids, relocating budget, or making tweaks and optimizing your ad copy. And four, you can continuously monitor how your changes affect your auction insights and overall performance. And with that said, if you're getting value from my videos, please click like and subscribe just down below. I hope you keep you up to date with all the latest videos that I'm posting. And again, if you need any help with your Google Ads, please reach out to me in the link in the description or in the first pinned comment below. I'd love to hear from you and I'll reach out to you as soon as possible. And with that said, thanks for watching. Bye for now.